Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see an awesome Orc Bad Moon Army phase. Really great project that Chris here at the studio had the pleasure of working on. We're back in a second to have a look at these awesome Bad Moons in more detail. See you guys back in a second. Right, so let's dive in and have a look at this awesome Orc Bad Moon Army Phase. Really cool commission. It's been worked on by Chris, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, six tractor cannons, 30 grots and two flyers. So a nice starting phase uh, for this great Bad Moon Army, which we've had the pleasure of working on so far. Um, let's start with the grots because they're really cool models and there's a lot of them in this force. So just pull forward some of these so you guys can have a look at. Again, right from the get-go, you can see all the highlighting work there that's done on the skin, on the cloth, all the aspects of detail, the teeth, eyes is everything fully highlighted and fully picked out on the model to give you a lovely outstanding finish on the models uh, so that's just one of the grots to start off with uh, and obviously being 30 of them i'll pull forward quite a few just so you can have a look at a selection of them here again this guy's got two uh he's gunslinging there with some tools <laughs> uh, and he's got his uh nice uh, sort of scarf across his mouth there to look a bit more sinister uh, so that's just him um, we'll then pull forward a couple of the other ones uh, again I'll do them for a scattering just from the different guns here you can see he's got some dog tags on him as well plus with these really cool stylish uh, stylish goggles there as you can see with the light refracting off of them uh, and then we'll just go, go to the, the, the other gun over here just so you can see between the various guns uh, the differentiation in the crew but they're all painted to a really really lovely finish uh, again that's just another one the grots pull forward a few more this guy's shouting away telling them to zap him or shoot or something uh, that's, that's just him uh, and then we'll have a look at this guy with the uh, the big drum of cable and also the, uh, the the energy box or power box there or battery. Uh, so that's just him there, as you can see. So that's just another one of the crew members. Then we'll start putting forward some of the guns so you can start having a look at these. Really cool models. Uh, Chris has done a lovely job with all the chipping and damage on them as well. A nice alternation of the yellow, uh, just in tonal properties, just to really sort of vary it up. So it's not super pristine clean, if that makes sense. Orc vehicles and guns and things wouldn't be. Uh, obviously, this the one's got a crew member on it as you can see there uh, we've got all the little blips and dots and things on all the computer screens uh, which is quite cool and all these yellow uh, sorry blue glowing vials or energy energy conduit things are all glowing obviously from a darker blue up to a lighter blue at the tops there as well so that's just one of the tractor cannons uh, let's have a look at some of the other ones just to pull forward a selection just so you can see them again this one's uh, it looks like a giant flamer of some sort there yeah, i'm not familiar with all weapons so if you do know it comment below in the comments that'd be lovely guys just to help me out um again same intention to detail on all the areas of detail work on these models which is just uh, really lovely and a nice bit of chipping on the armor panels there as you can see uh, so that's just one of the guns and we'll just pull one more forward just to show you th th just a selection of them again same throughout all the models in this force um, all the cables picked out in a lovely complementary red as well just to go with the yellow uh the copper and metal work there as you can see it's got various highlights on it as well just to make that stand out and look a bit beating and weathered uh, so that's just uh, another one of the screens there. Uh, one of the screens has got like a really cool um, blip thing like you see on a, on a heart monitor. Uh, not that one, I'll try and find it, but uh, it's, a, it's really, really cool. Uh, lovely little bit of attention to detail on the on this one. Nope, not that one. Let's pull it forward. I really want to show you guys because it's a nice and lovely little bit of detail that we've done on the... Uh, on the models there you go so <laughs> really cool sort of uh, blip thing there as you can see which is uh, just showing a bit of energy going through this gun which is uh, lovely uh, so that's all the tractor cannons just so you can see them uh, and then let's pull forward one of the flyers first of all just for you guys to have a look at uh, and I'll show you the base on this in a second you've got Biggles here with his scarf billowing away in the, in the wind all carefree uh, obviously lovely tonal properties there between brighter and darker yellows on different areas of the uh, of the, of the flyer um, obviously it's darker towards the engine area and on the volume of the, of the fuselage it's brighter at the top um, matching obviously the, the cylinder shape uh, and you obviously got the darker portion underneath as well but the same attention to detail with all the uh, chipping and scratching on the leading edges of the wings on the underneath of the fuselage uh, you've got obviously all the canopy and cockpit and pilot fully highlighted fully picked out there all the rivets individually picked out as well with a bright highlight uh, they're not all scratched which is lovely uh, all the metal works there as you can see and we've also got obviously these lovely black free-handed flames on there and some checks as well uh, just in keeping with that bad moon-esque vibe on this army uh, so that's just the first flyer and then let's have a look at the second one. Now on the second one, I will talk about the base because we've done something a little bit special on the bases just for our client. Uh, obviously this is the much bigger flyer. I, I, the name has totally eluded me. I knew it before I started videoing, but uh, apologies if, for not remembering it. If you do know it, put it in the comments below, guys. That really will help me out. Um, and again, you can see the lovely glowing energy areas of this flyer. The same attention to detail on the yellow. So we've got that lovely transition from darker to lighter yellow, some tonal variants on the actual armor panels of the, of the flyer as well. Some extra checks and flames and things all 
free handed on there by Chris, which is really nice. All the metal work fully highlighted and picked out as well, which is great. Uh, and then just moving around all the cables there, as you can see, a nice amount of chipping and scratching on different areas of the metal work as well, just to show it's a very beaten damaged flyer, which is what all you know technology should be like. You've got the, the cockpit there, as you can see, with him flying away there with his large power nodule just you know directly plugged into his brain. Uh, as you can see there, which is really cool. Uh, and then we'll talk about the base. So you might have seen on a few of the grots, uh, the odd mushroom here and there. Uh, Chris has gone in and done some lovely little mushrooms on uh, scattering across the commission, uh, just to keep that sort of grot orc esque feel on them as well, which is really nice. Uh, so you will see a scattering of uh, of a sort of uh, scattering of those mushrooms throughout the force, which is really nice. I'll pull forward a couple of grots just to have got, got them on the bases, just so you can see here. Again, just get that to focus for you guys. He's got these little mushrooms that have just been put on the bases just to add that extra detail on there for our client. Uh, and again, really, really cool little things. There's another one here just on this grot here, as you can see, just get that to focus for you guys. Lovely, lovely little mushrooms, just uh, an extra little detail. Maybe he's going to pick, pick it up or something, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but there you go. So that is this awesome, awesome Bad Moon uh, Orc phase. A nice scattering different units and obviously two flyers. Uh, so I do hope you can check out the last part of this video, which is a little bit more about the force and a little bit more about how you can take out a project with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you've liked this Orc Bad Moon Army Phase Commission. Uh, it's been a great project to work on. If you are interested in an army commission with us here at Siege, then it's very simple to get in touch with us. In the description of this video you can find the link to the contact form on our website. That contact form, you need to go there and then select the drop down options which are relevant from the selected options for your commission. And in the message section there's a list layout, a list format that we require. If you can put your list of models in our format and fire that off to us, we can then come back to you with a quote for your project. Uh, also, in the description of this video, can you find the links to all of our social media, so Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, if you can do us a huge favor and give us a like and subscribe or follow on there, that would be absolutely brilliant. And as I mentioned, while you're here on YouTube, give us a subscribe because it was really great for you guys to keep up to date with all the projects and things that we are putting out basically on YouTube. Uh, so do hope you can check those out. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified every time one of our videos goes up. So I hope you can do that. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.